Hey everybody, it's Ruben Lowing. Um, it's Saturday morning, so today, um, I did, like every Saturday, I got on the um, the Jason Cisneros Built to Exit podcast, and um, I had to had to reboot my computer or my cell phone um, twice because the first time was just me and J- Jason. The next time, me, Jason, and Sid. And it's like five minutes into the podcast, so if I did it again, then I could get everybody. But then they couldn't hear me, right? So I didn't get out and get to say anything. But what they were talking about was um, Robert Greene's book. I think it was uh, 48 Laws of Power. I read um, Laws of Human Nature, a lot of the same stuff is in that, in the, in, in that book. And um, it's really interesting how things kind of came together. I've been I've read the whole Bible sixteen times cover to cover, and then um, like two and a half years ago, it took me three and a half years. To, I read the same chapter of Genesis, Psalms, and Proverbs like every day. Meditated on those chapters every day for like three and a half years till I got through them all. Right, and then I was trying to do so. I learned I'm learning about the symbolism in the Paleo Hebrew, and um. And I couldn't, I couldn't read the Gospels. I was trying to do the same thing with the New Testament, and I couldn't do it because when Christ is talking, he, if you don't know about the, you don't know the Palo Hebrew, you don't know um, the temple process, um, you don't know what he's talking about, and it, it's too much. It was too much for me. So now, I'm, now I can read it again. So I'm reading like the Beatitudes. We used to like drill the Beatitudes for uh, Celebrate Recovery. <laughs> but now I know what he's really saying. It's it's very interesting. Um, very interesting. And what... So my, my girlfriend, we were talking about this last night. Um, she has a degree in sports psychology. She's, a, she's an Olympic water polo player. She... Um, has been coaching. She's actually been applying sports psychology, you know, her whole life pretty much. And uh, so we talk a lot about that kind of stuff. And there's, when you understand this is powerful, okay, that your, the, the, your thought energy, the, the, power generated from the thoughts in your mind only only resonate off your scalp like two millimeters okay your the uh, energy generated from the neural system in your heart which are your emotions will generate up to like 90 feet and then they compound when they're around when you're around other people you can actually stimulate those, the energy in them and then the the Im- emotions that create the largest the most set out the most power or resonate the furthest is love joy and gratitude okay now with that said so and oh yeah and then when you get around other people they compound so it can get out even further and then your heart energy can stimulate their heart energy now understand this right um they were talking about um, being truly supportive of other people, okay? Really helping people in your business, and that's what makes your business grow, okay? And, of course, that's what I do. I, if, if somebody, I, that's why I started my business, is yourbusiness.info, to have tools to help Small business owners, because they make more money, then they have more money, they can do something with me. All right. And that ability to look at somebody and and pull out their attributes, the coaches have to do that all the time. And I had to do when I was teaching boxing, teaching shooting. Um, you know, when we were in the SEAL platoon, you, you end up doing, you end up learning, learning each other really well, right? And you can pull out those aspects of other people that you know that they excel at, that they, they're the expert, they're the subject matter expert here, or they they have the ability to do something, 
you know, the other people can't, you know, you know who to call on to get something done. And that's what they were talking about on the show. But what I got to thinking about, oh my gosh, we have um, God's DNA in us. Okay. If, if uh, there's actually the God gene, right? Um, which is really interesting that uh, Bill Gates, it, there's a video of him talking to the CIA about they found that part of your brain that caused you to be z zealous, okay? And they figured out how to shut it down. And he was, they were talking about for terrorists, for Muslim terrorists or for, um, you know, the uh, the overzealous Christians, right? And um, and I'm like, whoa! I don't want that part of my brain shut down. That's what I've depended on that my whole life, right? That's what got me through SEAL training. That's what got me to do what I did boxing, right? Grabbing that part of my brain and and using it and and to push me through something. But when the trick is, is to help other people see that in themselves and pull that out. And that's pretty much what Jason there Cisneros was talking about today on his podcast. I didn't get to talk, but if I would have, uh, this is what I would have said. Have a good day.